We are very proud to have MedMen supporting the MPTF Next Gen and various events that um, we do for fundraising and for awareness of MPTF overall. However, this segment is not an endorsement of any product or any service. Please consult your physician before using any product, regardless of whether or not it is CBD or cannabis or anything that could interact, just talk to your doctors first. That being said, let's learn, let's have some fun. Let's meet Paul Bennett and Erica Martinez. Hi, you guys. Hi. I'm Erica. Um, super excited to be here. Uh, Paul and I both work for MedMen um, in the training department. So we had a lot, of, a lot of education. We train our team. MedMen's platform truly is about education first before selling anything. Um, and so it's definitely been a great experience working here. So as we, we're not doctors, um, we are not going to make those recommendations for you, but there's so much to learn today, hopefully, and so much to gain that, that if you guys do try any products, um, I I think can be a great part of a wellness regimen or alleviate pain, anxiety, tons of different things. So we're really excited to be here and talk to you guys today. So uh, we wanted to get started and uh, talk today, mostly kind of get some beginning introduction about cannabis, what it is, um, and kind of how it um, affects our bodies. What well, we're going to do a general overview, but just to kind of start, every every one of us, all humans and most animals, have what we call an endocannabinoid system, or an ECS for short. Um, it's basically built into our bodies. It's the receptors. They're located in our in our brain and in our in our central nervous system and because plants have something similar what they produce actually can help unlock different things in our body so it's kind of like we have a lock and key system so your receptors are the lock and the cannabinoids are the key so that's how they unlock different things whether it's you know kind of giving you some more hunger or helping you with pain um, you know any any different things like that that's kind of the overview of how it works um, so and they have been present in humans long before we ever discovered them they're the most popular being um, anandamide and your 2AG um, so our CB1 receptor is located in your central nervous system and your CB2 is in your immune system. So that's why it can be so effective with different parts of your body and why there's so much research happening right now on the benefits of what they can do for you. And there's hundreds of cannabinoids um, still being discovered. The main two being THC and CBD, which is what you hear most about. So we're gonna talk about those two a little more, but also speaking to some other very notable ones that can help with some of the ailments that you guys might be experiencing or just enjoy to enjoy yourself. So this is specifically something we use for our training. It's kind of explaining like what a hybrid can do. And um, it's just, it's one of the, it's a cross between an indica and a sativa, two different plant types. Um, and so if you have a combination, it's usually a hybrid, but you can see how it can affect different parts of your body, just like a sativa would affect you differently or an indica would, um, different strains can it just kind of depends on what's more prevalent in that plant um, but you can see where you kind of get some of the relief or where you might feel it so this is just a sample of what it will do through the endocannabinoid system yeah so as erica mentioned there are definitely quite a few major and minor cannabinoids cannabinoids found um, cbd being one of the more popular ones um, it's non-psychoactive uh, used for anxiety, inflammation, epilepsy, and arthritis. Uh, this is a really great wellness product. Um, I take a 30 milligram CBD capsule every day just for everyday wellness, and it helps with um, definitely some inflammation for, from some injuries I sustained years ago, and as well as helping with anxiety as we kind of navigate through this new normal of COVID. Uh, CBDA, also non-psychoactive, uh, used to assist with nausea, inflammation, and once again, overall wellness. Um, CBDA is the precursor to CBD, so it's prior to it actually being heated in any way, shape, or form. CBN, um, this has been a very popular cannabinoid um, recently as well. Many vendors um, across all different states are producing products that have a lot of CBN in them um, as it's really good for pain management, inflammation, and insomnia. Um, as stated, it is one of the most popular can cannabinoids to aid in sleep. Um, CBD is said to assist in actually getting to sleep, and CBN is said to actually assist with you staying asleep. 
Um, most people don't always have an issue actually going to bed. It's the matter of actually sleeping through the night and CBN is a big help with that. CBG, uh, non-psychoactive again, used for muscular disorders, anxiety, skin conditions, and inflammation. Um, it is also being currently studied for its ability to aid with eyesight, psoriasis, depression, and muscle contractions. Moving into the ever popular THC, um, this is the psychoactive cannabinoid used for acute pain relief, um, stress, it helps with appetite and also with sleep as well. There's THCA, which is mildly psychoactive, uh, used for inflammation, nausea, and appetite. Um, it is similar to CBA, where it's actually a precursor to THC. Uh, much less psychoactive than THC for most people and actually non-psychoactive for others. Um, as mentioned before, everybody's endocannabinoid system is very different. Everyone's body chemistry is different. So how any one person um, feels when ingesting any of these and um, experiencing these uh, matters. Uh, I'm sorry, it, it's different for everyone. <laughs> um, THCV, uh, this is psychoactive and it's used for ap appetite suppressant and actually stimulates bone growth. It may also help with diabetes, as research recently suggests, its ability to regulate blood sugar levels and reduce insulin resistance. Um, it may also help with anxiety and reduce panic attacks, and it's also being studied for use for PTSD. And finally, um, THCV may help with Alzheimer's. We have a resident who uh, has a question. Phil is on the line. Ladies and gentlemen, hey, Phil. Phil Gittleman, he's got a question for you. I, I'm, you know, I'm a child of the 60s. So I smoked everything from then to now. And uh, most recently, I got into contact with my chiropractor and I started to use the brand Plus CBD oil, which is a hemp bomb, extra strength, okay. and uh, it's uh, 1.3 ounces, and I, you know, I was using it for back pain, uh, nothing terrible, but, you know, to see if it would relieve it and whatnot, and I also came across, in one of my ventures, the Papa, Papa and Barkley Relief Body Oil. Yep. Which was which had over 400 milligrams of uh, uh, cannabinoids. I was totally uh, disappointed with both items. They did absolutely nothing for me, and I've heard all this hype from CBD oil. It's coming. It's doing. It's whatnot, and I was very disappointed. So, am I to believe that this? Uh, usage of these things that they're so subtle that uh, we we can't get a response immediately or is it something that takes more time I have tried the Papa and Barkley um, massage oil uh -huh. I personally prefer their relief balm um, so it's probably similar to the plus that you tried. Um, it also depends on where you got your product. And I don't mean that in a sense that it's not a good product, but hemp derived um, has, it's, it's federally legal. It's not considered a schedule one drug because it tests so low on, um, it's under 0.03% of like the cannabinoids, let's say. Your Papa and Barkley definitely will have more. I find that to be more impactful, actually, if you were to mix it with a like a bath salts or something and actually take a uh, an actual dip in your water and, and soak in it. But I think their relief balm that is cannabis derived actually has more impact. Another thing I will say is that um, topicals specifically topicals um, are for localized pain. So they should help that way, but they do not enter your bloodstream. So right. you won't experience anything right. Um, right. psychoactively or any other way. So 
if you were to try again, um, I would definitely try the Papa and Barkley Relief Balm that is like a one-to-one -one or something that does have some THC in it. Um, and I would, I would personally recommend trying something that is cannabis derived. And I, like I said, their relief balm to me is much more effective than um, what I've experienced with their, um, with their massage oil, unless I'm using it in the bathtub, because I think it actually kind of reaches your system differently uh, that way. Well, Can you, you were saying something about the CBN with regard to sleep? Yes. Is that, is that an oil? Is that a pill? Is that a capsule? It can be both. Um, so you can find it in an, in an oil. You can find uh, like a tincture, so something you would take in a dropper form. Uh -huh. um, when I show the products here, I have uh, one that's actually, they do make it in capsule form. Um, and they also, I know we carry a product that goes under your tongue. It's, a, it's called Kinslips, so it's going to actually go under your tongue and work um, through the um, receptors that way and actually soak in that way and you'll experience it. They don't, they're, um, they're a sublingual, so it goes into your submucosal glands and experiences it that way. So because sleep is one of the most sought after categories, um, and, and in our stores, you know, there's actually like a designated section for sleep. So thank you, my dear, for your, your explanation. I appreciate it. Absolutely. And um, if you were to go on our website, even if, you know, maybe we're unreachable at the moment, I'm not sure, depending on, on how you're getting stuff right now, um, you can actually go in and search, you know, sleep, for example. You can look at the menus and it'll pop up different products and tell you about each of them. Um, in more detail, that's just medmen.com, um, and you know, just find a California location. But it will, it, you can actually search by kind of what your desire is. So if it is sleep, med, men. You know, med, yeah. med men, med men, med men, right? Oh, M E D M E N dot com. But Thank basically, you. it'll give you a menu of well, items. Thank um, you very much. Yes. I, I think that there are a lot of people watching who very much like Phil are children of the 60s and could probably enlighten us as much as learn more about the science behind it. So hopefully next time we talk. What do you think? I'm sorry, Erica, I missed that. But I want to send Phil some edibles and talk about his experience. <laughs> I'll bet we could make that happen. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for taking the time. We'll see you again in a week or two. Sounds great. Thank Absolutely. you. Yeah, Thank can you we so make much. that a date? Yes, it's a date. Gr oh, Indeed. oh, Phil's about to take you up on your offer. Hold on. <laughs> Hi, Phil. Hi, I want to give her my address. <laughs> <laughs> we will do that off of the air. Thank you so much. Uh, we'll be right back with Dr. Kaiser. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.